Power remains offline for 1.2 million Puerto Ricans after Hurricane Fiona. And this comes as the island marks five years since Hurricane Maria caused so much devastation. As a reminder, over 80 percent of the entire energy grid was damaged in that storm, and it took 11 months to mostly restore power to the island. I want to explain why there's a problem. The current power grid is so vulnerable to storms because of fatal design flaws. Many power stations are located on the south side of the island, which are frequently at risk of being knocked offline by destructive hurricanes or earthquakes. The energy comes from these power stations along a network of 32,000 high and low voltage lines that move the power north, where 70 percent of the people who live in Puerto Rico actually are. But if even one of those poles is damaged, it can knock out power to large parts of the island. And even before Maria, the energy grid faced systemic issues due to a lack of maintenance. Puerto Ricans suffered severe outages at rates four to five times higher than average U.S. utility customers. And after Maria, the U.S. government invested $13 billion to repair and rebuild the system. But things haven't improved despite a new company now managing the grid. So far this year, power outages have been increasingly lasting longer, according to an August report from Puerto Rico's Energy Bureau, and the frequency hasn't improved either. The average customer now experiences about 139 minutes of power outages a month. Luma, the new company that is in charge of Puerto Rico's energy grid, says that they are still working through maintenance backlogs, which is impacting their ability to make systemic improvements. The Biden administration recently announced a plan to help Puerto Rico retool its energy grid with more renewable energy sources, like local solar panels, which could be less susceptible to outages. But for now, residents are relying on the old system.